the Pittsburgh Steelers knock off the Las Vegas Raiders 13 to 10 here at Akershire Stadium. And folks, what a storybook ending this was for this game specifically, honoring Franco Harris on the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception. Steelers go down and put a drive out like they did on that last drive in awful conditions. It was cold, it was windy, it snowed at times in this game. This was a game that required greediness. This was a game that required a lot of heart to win. Let's make no mistake on that. And a lot of that heart came from Kenny Pickett. And I think that is ultimately the biggest takeaway I have from this game. I, I look at Kenny Pickett and this game was exactly what you wanted from a young quarterback. He's not having a good game, right? He's made some bad throws. He had a really bad pick. He's overthrown some guys, thrown behind a few guys. Maybe he's gotten duped a little bit in the mental game. Then he goes out and has that drive he did to win the game. You want to talk about guts, a few really good throws. Two out of structure throws to Pat Fryer move. Acknowledging the dump off to Najee Harris, growing as the game went on, right? Acknowledge that they were going to back out and took what the Raiders gave him. Then on fourth and one, the second effort on the QB sneak was something else. That was really, really, really all Kenny Pickett. And he comes back next play, throws a dime to George Pickens. It's a touchdown. That's it. And just like that, the Steelers win 13-10. And Kenny Pickett, they drafted him in the first round because he's a gamer. And that's what he proved tonight. This guy's a gamer, and this is why players want to play for Kenny Pickett. Day in and day out, this is why they drafted Kenny Pickett in the first round. He's got world-class intangibles. And that is something you cannot take for granted when you're talking about why Kenny Pickett's a Pittsburgh Steeler. In addition, though, I'll tell you what. George Pickens had a great game. Five receptions for 57 yards and then the touchdown. Ran a nice option route, read the two high coverages. The Steelers really adjusted to that and understood what was coming. And the defense, man. This defense balled out today. They really did. Held Devontae Adams only two receptions for 15 yards. You had Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller combined for 100 yards and a touchdown on eight receptions. But that was going to happen, right? There's so many weapons on that group. Someone's going to step up a little bit, but they never got killed by any of them. Outside of that first drive, they were great. Only 162 yards outside of that first drive. Josh Jacobs, 15 yards for 40, I mean, 15 carries for 44 yards. They neutralized the two biggest threats on this Raiders team in Jacobs and Adams. And that was huge in this game. And then they get three key picks. I mean, really, they helped the offense out. The Art Mallette pick on the over route. Then you have Minka Fitzpatrick getting another one. And then, of course, the Cam Sutton pick at the end. What a play that was by Cam Sutton. This game really came together. Then Najee Harris on the final drive, really giving the Steelers a spark through the air. Didn't have a great rushing game. He was running tough. Got a few key first downs. It was awesome stuff to see from the Steelers. They really came together in a gritty win. There was a lot to not like in this game. Boswell missed two field goals, a weird fourth down decision. The offense looking out of sync for most of this game. But when it mattered most, they came up, and it was a fitting victory here on the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception. Folks, Nick Faribault, make sure to check out more at Pittsburgh Sports Live and subscribe.